and welcome back to my third video. Um, I'm firstly going to start off, um, it doesn't seem right to do a video and not mention um, the attacks in London yesterday um, and I just want to send all my thoughts out to anybody who was involved, family, friends. Um, I just, I can't wrap my head around terrorism to be honest. It's it's a senseless act and it's not down to religion because there's no religion on this earth that condones murder. The only thing that springs to mind that isn't religion is cowardness. It's, there's just no word for it so I just want to send out my condolences to anybody who was affected and hope everybody keeps safe and you know peace that's that's it's not a lot to ask for but it seems um something that is really really hard to have nowadays um so just thoughts out to all those affected right so um i'll go into the video on adhd so <laughs> That's the dog that my child wished, literally wished upon a star to get. Maxi, do you want to come say hello? Come here and say hello. It's hello, here, look. There, Maxi, you've been very silly. Maxi, come here, stop being silly and come and say hello to everybody. This is a Jesus dog, my son. Maxi, come here. Come here and say hello. Come here and say hello. Oh, there he is. Say. Hello. Now, I, if animals could get ADHD, this dog was have it, wouldn't you? Maxi, say hello. Say hello. Nah, nah. Say hello. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Now go and behave because we're doing with some videos, okay? So go and sit down and behave. Go on. He's such a <laughs> naughty dog. Yeah, you would be a Jesus dog, wouldn't you? I know. Can mommy's busy, okay? So, oh, Max, right. sorry everybody, we'll get in straight into the video. Um, and it's how to have an, um, an ADHD friendly house. So, firstly, keeping it tidy, keeping it organized, which is something very hard for children. Anyway, uh, and me, <laughs> to be fair. Um, so I'll go into what I learned on the AJC Foundation course. So keeping your home AJC friendly, okay. So obviously it's very, very hard for a young person with ADHD to keep organised um, and anticipate any problems. So we'll start with the bedroom. So we use calming colours like pale blues or pale greens. You know, pale pinks. Um, have box organized boxes for like homework, you know, college work, anything like that. Um, also label your drawers, which is what I do for all these toys. I've got like a storage stack. I've just got colored labels on that will say things like you know, figurines, cars, Lego, art stuff. Um, he finds that really helpful when he's tidy in his room. Well. <laughs> and he tries to tidy his room. Um, they are very useful to have um, labelled drawers. Um, also, with picture reminders on too, they're really helpful. Whiteboards. Um, also, when the um, the clothes have them in a, a order, a stacked order of what order they're going to be wearing them in. So, like day one, day two, day three, and that's really helpful for them. It's very easy for them. Um, a quiet room um, where there's no um, TV, computer. Now my son has everything in his room. To the and it's I do need to start. There's nowhere else to put them. To be fair, um, because he ends up sleeping in my room because there's too much just going on in his room. Um, if I <clears throat> let him sleep in his own room, guaranteed I'll be awake at three o'clock in the morning listening to that computer so um 
that's a no-no. Computers, TVs, DVD players in a bedroom. Um, keeping it simple, um, so you know anything that's breakable, don't have in the room. Anything that's porcelain. Um, <coughs> what else we do? Oh yes, contact your um, fire department. Um, how to have um, fire safety home for your child, um, especially if the wanderers in the night uh, locks on the kitchen if they get up in the middle of the night. Um, but obviously, kids today, JT, love um, to cook. A lot of them do love to cook, so have like little chef days that you can do. Um, so yeah, have your peaceful area too, your quiet room. We can do, you know, there's no computers, there's no music, there's no TVs. Um, just little board games, you know, cuddly teddies, anything like that. Um, relaxation tapes, a little massage room, just little little feet massage, little back massage. My lad loves little massages. Okay, and to aim to make God, with this dog, it's very hard to have, but aim to make this your home stress free as possible for the whole family. Okay, to um, remember to anticipate any difficulties, um, look for solutions and problems together. If things go wrong, um, ask how you can change it next time. So, bedroom, I want to show you some examples of a bedroom. So, this bedroom is a bit of a pigsty, okay, but whilst, whilst the colours are very relaxing, the floor leaves a lot to be desired, okay. So then these two, so you've got your blues and you've got your reds. Okay, so while the floor's a lot cleaner, there's still a lot to attract you to the eye. So it says the similar, the similar to the above, whilst the tiredness is commendable, because the colours and contents are far too busy for an ADHD child. Okay, so this aren't going to keep your child relaxed. And the mind calm because there is a lot going on in them bedrooms okay so the compromise remember it's not just football it can be anything but as a compromise is have something like this okay so you've got your main feature on the wall which is still football and then that's it so your pale walls okay so then it says the room is com a compromise the colors are subtle and relaxing it is tidy, yet it's still obvious that the room belongs to a football fan. So, that's how you have an ADHD friendly room. Oh, also, what I absolutely love, I love candles. My son seems to be a lot calmer um, when I've got candles. Now, when I go and buy them from a normal shop, they last a couple of hours, okay? I've had this one here for a couple of weeks. You can just relight it whenever you want. Now I have these around the house, okay, and it does give a, a calm, relaxing atmosphere, especially before bed in a bath, okay. So I'll do my hot, hot bubble bath, and then I'll put one of these in, and I won't pick it up because it's hot. But you can get these from waxy waxy wicks aromas okay there are we okay so waxy wicks homemade aromas on facebook um i will leave a link to it um i know the lady who does them she's a lovely lady very very reasonable priced like i said this one has i've had for weeks and weeks she does bath salts bath bombs for the kids it's relaxing um and the melts and they're all like you know it could be like strawberry you know, cake flavors as the aim to do like one that i've told her i'm dying dying to try so i'll leave a link for that um any more videos you'd like me to do let me know if i haven't done them yet um so just share with everybody please um just so we can help others and again i'll always say this 
any hints or tips, tip, tips, tips you've got for yourself that you want to share with everybody else, please comment below. Um, and any for me, any any more for me to help me with this keeping the tidy of the bedroom because he's a nightmare. I've got all my tips. I know what to do. It's getting him to do it. Okay. So thanks for listening, everybody, and um, hope to hear, hear some comments and have some conversations with some people in the same situation. Thank you very much. See you again. Bye.